come on. Stephen Baldacino. Stephen coming off a devastating KO victory on power play number 36 with a fantastic head kick KO. Be looking to back it up here tonight. This about three, uh, five by three minute rounds. K1 rules. This is for the IWKBF Australian title. So even more intensity, Stan. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. I mean, semi-main event before the big one tonight, the heavyweights. Both these boys, very talented, very, very uh, capable of scoring a knockout at any stage. So they're just uh, measuring each other, trying to find their range. Of course, Glenister, more well-known as a Muay Thai fighter. Yeah, absolutely. Um I have to think that the rules would favour uh, Stephen Baldacino, but uh, Ali Glenister happy to take this fight and looking very comfortable here in the early stages. Both boys in great shape. You can see both boys. Again, it's a five three minute round, John. So, you know, they're not going to rush too much, but they actually are quicker than normally you would imagine. Yeah, both boys looking very sharp. Nice left rip there by Glenister. Now, Baldacino trying to put punch combinations together. Peppers away inside of that lead leg of Elliot Glenister. Of a silence now over the uh, pavilion here. Both these local fighters, I think everybody just uh, in awe and uh, waiting for the fireworks to start here. As Glenister tries to back Baldacino into the neutral corner just above us, Stephen does well to work his way out back into centre ring. You know, John, I, I got to see Baldacino when he scored that knockout. We were together commentating, of course. And so I've seen a bit of Baldacino, but I'm actually very impressed at the same time with Glenister at the moment. Very composed, measured, you know, well balanced. A jumping knee from Glenister. Uh, Elliot showing that uh, he's not shy at all in trying something, uh, something outrageous to try and score a knockout. Baldacino pushing forward. Good footwork there by Glenister as well, though, making him miss, sliding. Second attempt at an axe kick by Stephen Baldacino. And of round there one, proudly. Round two. So here we go, second round of five. Elliot Glenister, Stephen Baldacino. Double up on the low kicks by Baldacino. Oh, nice. Nice strong body rip yeah. stats. Two more from Glenister. Yeah. You see Baldacino also coming back with his body punches, but didn't come across to me like as powerful as uh, Glenister. Uppercut left hook from Elliot Glenister. You can see the, the marks on Valentino's body, the red marks from those left rips. I mean, Glenister digging for oil there. I like his, you know, his demeanor. Something about Glen, Glenister that, you know, he doesn't waste a lot of energy either. And will not take his eyes off Valentino. I like that, but he looks like he's focused, you know, he's in the zone, you know. His concentration is all there, he's all focused. I like that. Look at that look. A couple of lo strong low kicks from Elliot Glenister. Good matchup this bounce yeah, so it far. Is, it is a good matchup. And, you know, I think Valachino is going to have to bring his best out here tonight. Well, we saw at the last show that Valachino can just pull something out of nowhere. That's right. And he does possess knockout power, both in his hands and his kicks. Good use of the ring. Baldacino moving off to his right, but Glenister cuts him off. Uh, no 
nice switch up low kick. You don't see that too often, Stan. Um, referee for this bout, Jeff Eddy. Let's not forget IWKBF Australian title on the line. Good sharp combination from. I, I was just going to say, John. I think Belichina is putting more combinations together, more punches and kicks. You know, four, five, six punches. I'm saying, as in comparison to his opponent, who's not really putting together much other than one or two punches. Glenister, that's a nice rip there, but he should follow quicker with those leg kicks. Again, come back with after that kick, throw punches. If you're going to start off with punches, finish off with legs. If you're going to start off with legs, finish with punches. Mix it up a bit. Yeah, great comments from eight-time world champion, Stand up Longanides. In a round two, round three. So round number three, Elliot Glenister, Stephen Baldacino. It's about brought to you by Magic Taste Foods and Hellas Printing. I re I've got them one round apiece at the moment, Stan. Yeah, pretty close. I mean, no one's done anything at this point to clearly feel he's ahead. Once again, that jumping knee from Glenister, but just missing the mark. Nice. Two punch kick combo from Baldacino. He's done exactly what you said, Stan. He's putting together the combinations very nicely. Not all landing cleanly, but it's the work rate. He's just busy. It is. This is better work now from yeah, Elliot. Yeah, that was. That was good. Trying to, put, He's trying to put Valdicino through the ropes. Glennis has got to put more together, more work rate. You can see again Valdicino. Nice couple of knees from Elliot, but followed up with a right hook, missing the mark. That's better work. Double up on the low kicks from Steven. Nice low kick again by Belchina. Nice rip by Glenister. Glenister trying to put punches together again. Yeah, that's better work from Glenister. He's backed Steven into that blue corner. <laughs> nice little move there. That's right. good. And again, another move there by Glenister. Yeah, nice ring smarts from Baldacino. Worked his way out of that corner nicely. I don't know what the... What's Glenister up to there, Stan? Nice a couple of Brazilian moves there. Oh! Nice. oh! <laughs> if that came off, it would have looked fancy. Baldacino landing a nice jab. Nice left hook by Baldacino. Again, leading off that jab. Elliot Glinster continues to push forward, but again, look at the work right here. This just stops there sometimes. Absolutely, but uh, almost like he's taking a bit of a pose for a shot or for a photo there, Glinster. Baldacino, his counter punching is just trying to keep the work rate up. As we close here, the third round, attempt, nothing there. And of round three. Yeah, Glenister becoming a big predictable three down, now with that two to go. jumping knee. So here we go. Penultimate round, the round penultimate four. Penultimate round, number four of five. IK, IWKBF, Australian title on the line. Who wants that belt, Stan? It's going to come down to oh. Hunger here. But Baldacino, nice right hand. Peppers that jab, I think. Almost hasn't stopped. I Elliot, pack up that flying knee and take it home. Forget about it, son. Yeah, it's a bit too telegraphic when he's trying to attempt that on its own. Well, no, but Belichino's trying to imitate him now. Yeah, anything you can do, I can do just as bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got to say this, though. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i anticipating right now that Glenis has really got to pick up the pace in this round, in my opinion. 
you know, go to the next level. I mean, I know the five threes normally the slow starters, but we're talking about round four right now, and really, no one convincingly ahead in my opinion. I mean, you might lean towards Valentino. but I think this is where you really got to pick it up now. It was a nice couple of body rips by Glenister. Now we're trying to work that right rib cage again. He's going to follow up with those shots there, not just throw one rib or one right hand. He's going to follow up with combinations. Finish off with the low kick, which is what uh, Baldacino is doing. Ba -bum and bang. Ba -bum. Nice oh, overhand oh, right by Baldacino. Where's the low kick from Glenister? Tries to work that inside lead leg. See, again, waiting too much. Look, dropping his hands there, Glenister, and waiting. See, looks trying to set up a spinning elbow. Nice knee on that occasion. Didn't really land cleanly, but no holdings as a referee on this one. Yeah, absolutely. K1 rules. As you said, though, Glenister more favourite, favourite with Muay Thai. Kick that time just hitting the mark. Yeah. Baldacino has tried a few of those so yeah. far. Nothing too powerful, you know, to do big damage, but very, very impressive for the judges to pick up on. Yeah, absolutely, and one for the crowds as well. Everybody likes to see the flashy kicks. Glenister needs to pick up a bit. Probably blowing a bit more air than uh, Baldacino, I'd say, at this point. Well, there you have it. Uh, you buy Magic Taste Foods and Hellas Printing. We hope you're enjoying this on combatsports.com. You're watching Power Play number 37. This bout for the IWKBF Australian title. Stephen Baldacino, Elliot Glenister. I think Glenister, I think we might both agree that Glen, Glenister needs a big round here. A big round, if anything. Nice there for it, but not following up with anything else again, John. Yeah, single punch and then backs off. I mean, I'm, I'm sure he and the camp will go back and watch this video and, and see what we're talking about. I mean, his work rate. Look at this, Valentino again, putting punches and kicks together. Steven Baldacino still looking very light on his feet. Hey, he looks in tremendous shape though, Baldacino. In great shape. I mean, he looks in great shape, but he is in good, great shape. I mean, most a lot of guys look in great shape, but they're not really fit, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, here we are in the fifth and final round, and he looks exactly the way that he started. Not really gasping for air at all, still looking light on his feet and putting okay. together... Uh, Good combinations and maintaining a good work rate. Tries the big overhand right. There it is, second time. This That one lands the mark. Perhaps just not strong enough, but I'll tell you what, Glenister almost offering his chin there to Baldacino. Yeah, his work rate stopped. Look, he's absolutely almost running on a flat battery. See, when he wants to cut loose, he cuts loose with one or two punches, if anything. One minute to go! So they work. Perry Kale, one minute left in this semi-main event. Glenister needs to put something together. And the only one putting things together at the moment is Valdicino. There's that single body rip once again from Glenister. Yeah, you know, it's a great body rip. But if it's not doing the job to stop him, then you're not doing enough. You Absolutely. Know? Final 30 seconds. So here we go, 30 seconds left. He's tired. He looks tired to me. 
pokes the lift jab. Boulder Chinna tries that axe kick once again. And almost wears the right hook in the process. Oh, there you go, Stan. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. It is a unanimous decision. Nadal Talib had it 49-46. Charlie Camilleri, 48-47. And Shane Byrne had it 49-46 for your new IWKBF Australian champion. Red corner, the flame, oh, Stephen Baldo Chino.